What's going on YouTube? Thank you for tuning back into the channel. You reached Tesla Picker. I'm Dave, of course. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm doing something a little different. Oh, let me start off by saying this. If you like videos like thrift shopping, yard sales, estate sales, uh, things to that nature, subscribe. What I do is I go and I pick up these places and basically resell on eBay. So I do a lot of videos of that and that's it. <laughs> Today is gonna be a different, not a different video, but I'm doing something different that I never did before. And I kind of did it on a whim. I actually bid on a couple products online on a website called highbid.com, H-I-B-I-D.com. I heard about it uh, in another YouTube video that I was watching and uh, just thought I'd get on there and see if there was any around my way, you know, places close to me. And you know, there happened to be a couple auction houses. Uh, basically, it seems like what they're doing is they're doing estate sales online. And I bid on two small, I mean, I'm talking about super small, you know, one I won for $7 and the other one I won for like $12. So I was $19 into it. And I put a bid on there like maybe five days before the end and I won. Wasn't even really trying to bid. I was just trying, I mean, I was trying to bid, but I just thought I'd get out bid, but I just wanted to see how the process went. And I ended up winning. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to pick up my items. Uh, I want to see how this goes. I'm guessing this place is at a house, somebody's basement, I don't know. I'm about to see. And pick up my stuff, it's already paid for. All I gotta do is come and pick it up. And it's about 15 minutes from where I, was, from where I just got off work. About 15 minutes from where I work at. So, uh, thought I'd bring the GoPro and see if I can get a little footage of me picking up the stuff. And since I'm out of my way, I'm actually, I live in Kentucky, I'm actually across the bridge in Indiana. I thought I'd go to a Goodwill or two over here. You know, just a different, different I can't talk today, man. I've been up since four o'clock this morning. I cannot talk for some reason. Dip different atmosphere and uh, maybe I can find some even though it's on Sundays and I know how you know how packed the Goodwill is on Sunday because they always do that 50% off but uh yeah I'm gonna pick up these items it was uh well I'll show you what I got it was really nothing really I don't even know why I even bid on them I'm I'm an impulsive buyer anyway let's go all right I'm here I'm gonna go in here and I guess pick up my items and hopefully I walk out live. Bruh. I could be walking into no man's land. It's a house across the street over there. We'll see how this goes. Is this from this week or this from yeah, last, last night? Last night, yeah. Okay. So you're upstairs. Is this the only thing that you. Uh, I got a paper here if you need it. I got something got laid on the Okay, bottom. let me look upstairs. Okay. So there's this. So you won't so drop them. Okay. And there you go. Yeah, you all over it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You take it easy. You too. I'm going to drive away. Come back. <laughs> oh, definitely. Am I going this way? Yeah, you can. Okay, thank you. So if you want to come back this way, I'll put you to work. <laughs> <laughs> take it easy. Thank you. Okay, that was pretty easy. See, I got a bunch of bull crap. I'm going to show you. I got it. Bruh. Here in a few. Once I put it in the trunk, all right? I'm talking about impulses. Ah. <sighs> Open up my trunk. Show you guys what I got. Okay, so I got a bunch of vintage items. Actually, this tin can right here. I bid on it and it was only seven dollars and I bid on it because on eBay I seen a couple and they went for like fifty something dollars. I'm gonna look it up again and let you guys know. Um Probably post something on the screen because I'm after I go to this Goodwill, and I'll we'll do details later. All right, and then I got Bruh. a bunch of vintage items: this lighter, some brushes, all that good stuff. All right, so I think all in all, it's a success. I will do it again. Um, 
trying to get myself together. I'm still thinking. Um, the lady was real nice. Sure. What I'm thinking happens, I don't know if you can tell. The auction, people who do the auction, I'm guessing it's just like any estate sale, but it's online. And basically, they sell everything online, and people come and pick it up the day after they sell it online. And that's what's happening now. A lot of people are picking up their stuff, like somebody just put up over here. And everybody's coming to pick up their stuff. It's actually pretty organized. It looked like they was having problems with somebody in there. It looked like one person was looking for something and whatever was in that box wasn't in there. So the people running it think somebody might have grabbed something on the way out or something like that. Bruh. But I mean, this is actually pretty neat. Only thing different is, is people was bidding on stuff. So the price might go higher than you probably would pay if you went in there and prices is already labeled. Then again, it just depends on what you get. Like that tin can for seven dollars, I, I don't know. I don't know if I would have paid less than that um, if I was at Estate Sale. I probably would have. But like I said, those I think when I looked at the comps, some similar, which there wasn't that many on there, was going for about fifty something. So I don't know. I paid nineteen dollars. I got a couple other ventures items. Those are small. Don't know what they're going for. We gonna look them up later though. We gonna know about the end of this video. So now I'm going to try to look up a Goodwill on my phone. See if it's one close or any, some type of thrift store. And we gonna go and do a little picking on a Sunday. All right, let's go. I was right about the. Dang, I need some Liberty Forty on that door. Bruh. I was right about the retail, man. Uh, as y'all can see, some of the stuff, you know, I try to record a little bit for y'all in there. I didn't show y'all the price, and I'm sure y'all probably seen stuff that I, you was probably like, man, those go for this, that, and the other. But the price is outrageous. I ain't never seen it. I mean, I hear people on YouTube talk about how some of the prices are outrageous and things like that in kentucky right over the bridge on indiana our prices are okay they're not bad and i'm usually don't spend more than you know five dollars on an item unless it's behind the you know the, you know how they put stuff behind the thing and it's a little bit more or a certain pair of shoes or something like that but everything all the good stuff was like in a case and they was charging top dollar like a lot of those recorders and stuff y'all seen them speakers and stuff they were between 15 and 20 dollars man i'm like Come on, bruh. Come on. I might as well go and put a little bit of extra and go buy some new ones myself. Straight you know what I'm saying? Up. Plus, I didn't know if they worked. You know, you're going out on a whim. And I'm over in Indiana. I don't feel like going all the way back over here if it doesn't work to to, uh, to bring it back. So, I'm not great for taking no chances on the electronic stuff. Those recorders and stuff. Yeah, they get they did good money, but um, it wasn't for me today. Okay, I bought a little game. We'll get into it a little later. And I look, I ain't even get a bag. I just walk right out of the page. And they say, you want a bag? I was like, nah, keep your bag. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I don't know if I happen to pass up another Goodwill. I might hit it up. I'm gonna look up some stuff. But um, just ride with me. Let's see what's up. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Another thrift store, my Saint 
Vincent De Paul. Just the one. Been here before. It's kind of my bread and butter. I'm going here and see what they got. I think this will be the last store for today. I need to get home to my family. Play with my kids. You know, do stuff that fathers and husbands do, right? I'm supposed to do. Let's go and see what they got. Yeah. I'm at the thrift. Um, got a surprise when I got up there. Uh, I bought a couple of shirts, well, sweaters, and a polo, and like two little kids' movies, and only spent $4.75. I didn't know um, that those shirts, I thought for some reason I was thinking that those shirts was like $4, $3.99, and I forgot today was Sunday, so when I got up there, they was only $1.75 a piece, and <laughs> I forgot if I would have known that I had put like three or four shirts back, but I would have bought them for a dollar seventy-five. I didn't right. feel like going back. You know, it's time to get home. I was gonna stop at the Goodwill. I still might because I passed. I'm gonna pass one up on the way home. So I said, forget it. I might go in there next Sunday. Now that I know that the shirts are, I think half off. Yeah, half off. So uh, it's a good thing to know on a Sunday. So i will show y'all what i purchased when i get home uh today's end up starting to end up being an okay day uh today i was just going to chill want plan on just getting that stuff from the high bid sites didn't plan on stopping anywhere else but since i had my gopro with me i had you guys with me i decided to make a couple stops you know get a little video footage since i'm trying to post i'm trying to post about four or five times a week on youtube so I'm trying to get in where i fit in sit in listen not just playing yeah i probably don't even know what i'm talking about but I'm gonna go over to this one last Goodwill over here right before I get home. See what they got. What time is it? 4.21? Yeah, they close at 6. I'm gonna go over here and see what they got. Wifey ain't called me yet. Usually she called me and be like, where you at? Out thrifting? You out thrifting today? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But she's leaving me alone. So that's a good thing, right? Maybe she's doing her own thing. So I'm gonna let her do her own thing. I'm gonna do my own thing. And then we can do our own thing together later. Right. Get your mind out of the gutter. Let's go over to the Goodwill. I'll show y'all <laughs> so yeah your boy got i did okay in there i might have been my best purchases in there look up some comps and should do pretty good as y'all can see y'all probably couldn't sell because i didn't start videotaping until the aftermath plus the gopro you know gives you that wide angle so everybody probably looks pretty far off but somebody grabbed something and ran they did a snatch and run bow, bow. two people got up through and then somebody's like ah! He stole something. Man, I thought somebody got shot the way she screamed. They just, you know, people running out with one, two, three dollar items. Now, I don't know about y'all. Now, this is my personal opinion. And maybe I'm the only one that feels like this. All right? So we're going to talk for a minute. Let's talk about stuff that ain't got nothing to do with thrifting. I guess it does because it happened in the thrift store. 
But if I'm gonna be snatching and running, if I'm gonna be stealing, I'm not going to the Goodwill, okay? <laughs> now, I guess nowadays every store got all the you know, police in it and stuff like that. The Goodwill usually don't have any type of security or police in it. Sorry, I had to give me a couple of almonds. I've been hungry. The almonds is great. But, um, but if, if I'm trying to get something, I'm going to Best Buy, which you probably can't do nothing to Best Buy, but nope. some other store, not the Goodwill. I'm not going to steal no little $199 hat. I'm not going to steal it all. But I'm just saying, if I was thinking like a robber or a criminal, that's what I would do. Kids, don't steal it all. I'm just pointing out the obvious, okay? Anyway, let's back to the show. Um, I'm going to get home. We're going to look at the stuff I got. I did pretty good today. I got a couple of items. I'm going to try to list. My thing now is whatever I buy, I got to list that day. So I'm gonna, everything that I got today, I'm listing. I've been doing that the last couple thrift hauls and i've been doing great by listing everything ain't having to worry about it but i still got a death pile from weeks ago because i just been letting stuff sit buying stuff throwing it in the corner buying stuff throwing it in the corner not no more all right so let's get home i'm gonna show you what i got and right after that i'm gonna list it and we can go on to other things that's the way to do it okay i'm back home first off shout out to lonnie over at garage flips i bought this little knife from him i don't know if i talked about this already but it's a knife in the front a little, I don't know what you call it, a little roller score thing in the back. To where, you know, if you got a downsize a box, this is easy to use, use this part. You know, you cut inside the box and it's easy to fold it over and cut and stuff. It's all in one, basically. So, got this from, got his little logo on it. Pretty neat too, I used it once and it worked great. So, I'm glad I got this. I might have to get another one just in case. You know, I need it. So, back at home, just wanted to kind of go over a couple things, show y'all exactly what I got. Uh, this is actually the next day. I was tired. I worked a full day yesterday, so I didn't, I don't know. You know how it goes. We get home, you start playing with the family and stuff like that, and time gets away from you. But anyway, let's start out by the estate sale. Here's this basket that I bought. It's a tin metal with metal handles, whatever. Uh, pay seven dollars for it. Uh, got a little rust on it, you know, but it's old, it's old basket. That's how they used to make stuff back in the day. A little rust in the side, inside. But these are going, you know, for like fifty, sixty dollars, I believe. I put a comp on the screen, and um, you know, mine is a little rusty, and some of the ones on eBay are too. So I will price accordingly, and I will list all that, of course. And I also got this. This was just something that I got for a little bit of nothing. A bunch of old vintage items. I got old lighter, shave brush, um, some old utensils right here. And like I said, man, I went out on a whim. I'm trying to open this up for y'all. I'm trying to one-hand it. I can't do it. There we go. Old utensils on the inside. Lighters, stuff like that. I don't even know how to have stuff this Bruh. stuff is. I went out on a whim. Went out on a whim when I did this. Uh, like I said, highbid.com. I wanted to try it out. And I actually bid on that on the accident. The one on, on the inside. I meant to get this. But the stuff on the inside, I bid on an accident. Ended up winning. No big deal. Went and picked it up. And it's basically a regular old house like y'all saw. And... Went down in the basement, they already had tags on it. Like I know I want number four. They went to number four, got number four, and got number 12. And that was it. Simple as that. It's already paid for it, didn't have to do anything. The girl tried to put me to work. <laughs> nope. But it's all good. Anyway, let me go quick. So after that, I stopped at the Goodwill over there and it was, everything was super high in there, man. I mean, like I was telling you earlier, over in Kentucky, prices is okay. I watch a lot of YouTube videos where people pick up stuff that's sky high and I've seen the same stuff in Kentucky for a lot cheaper in the Goodwill. So hopefully Kentucky stays where they at and don't try to compete with these other Goodwills in other states. But anyway, all I found was this poker. I've seen a lot of stuff in that Goodwill, but it was just priced too high. This poker was like $3.99 and I see these are going for like almost $30, man. People love these little handheld games. Uh, I actually got on Facebook Marketplace after I seen this and looked up handheld games and I uh, wrote a couple guys because I seen somebody else selling one of these and a bunch of other handheld poker, blackjack type games. So hopefully 
I can do a video of picking some of those up if they hit me back. So we'll see. So I got that. Um, what else did I get? That's all I got at that good one. Then I went to another one. Where did I go after that? Ain't no matter. Let's go. I went to the thrift store and picked these bad boys up. Um, it's just two David and Goliath learning and caring for others, volume one and volume two. Uh, I don't know. I might let my, my, my kids watch these because these are only like, they only cost me 25 cents a piece and they go for like $4 a piece. So if a lot of them together, I might be able to get eight, nine dollars free shipping. Not worth it, but my kids, I don't think ever seen this. So I might, we'll see. Got that. And I also picked up these two items out of that store. Columbia PFG. Whenever I see that, I usually pick it up because it's a good $30 item. These were only $1.75 a piece. On Sundays, they have a deal. What's that? 50% uh, off everything. Off clothing, I mean. So, that's about $30 a piece. I only paid $1.75 for it. And I also got this Andrew Rowan Woodmont sweater. Which Andrew Rogan, he's a, I believe, I, don't, I say he because it's Andrew, but that's a company that makes a lot of college apparel, I believe. I don't know. So Woodmont, I thought that looked pretty fresh and pretty neat. Uh, they couldn't find an exact comp on that, but I've seen a lot of Andrew Rowan type sweaters, and we'll see. Um, Phillips, seen this Phillips uh, clock. They're going for like $29.99, and I seen this actually at a Goodwill, another Goodwill, close to me. And uh, it was instant comp, but it works and everything, but this is not the original charger or the original plug. So, I will list that accordingly. Uh, accordingly, I say it right? And the last thing I got was this cabinet caddy. I got that from the same Goodwill. I seen some cabinet caddies over there, but it wasn't the same. Going for about $25. Um... That's probably what I listed for. It's brand new. It's a vintage type deal. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got. I'm trying to go through this quick. It's actually the next morning. I got. Uh, I'm actually back to make a, make another video. I was sold. I had a couple items to sell over the weekend, and um, yeah, man, that's about it, man. That was my Sunday. So if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm trying to end it here, right? Y'all be good. Peace.